Hello everyone, welcome to week six and module four of IS-688 and web mining. As is generally the case, I'll go through a number of announcements and logistics for this week. Uh, note for Medium and Assignment 1, there have been about 14, I think maybe 15 stories posted so far to the Medium publication for the class, and five stories posted so far for Assignment 2, which was due last week. Uh, so if I go and look at Canvas, though, as I've been grading these, I have seen that Canvas says there were 21 different posts submitted for Assignment 1 and 15 posts submitted for Assignment 2. Uh, so this is problematic. Uh, remember that you need to submit your Medium posts not just on Canvas, but also on the Medium publication for the class. Uh, so for a particular publication, or rather for a particular story you've written, uh, once you've written it or you have a draft, you need to click on the three dots for an option, see where it says Add to Publication, and then you want to add the story to the Web Mining's IS-688 publication for the class and click add story. This is particularly important because I grade as I go through the medium publication, not necessarily through the canvas publication, and I want all of the medium posts to be associated with the course publication. So I will not grade your assignment, I will not grade your medium post until it's been added to the course publication, which only you can submit it to the course publication. I cannot do that based on an article that you've posted to your personal medium, uh, medium page. A number of you, I made an announcement about that earlier today, a number of you have, have already corrected this, so uh, thank you to those who have done that. Uh, the next thing regarding medium posts, uh, pay particular attention to your post and its notes. Uh, so every, I mean, I'm not sure if you get a no, uh, notifications about this, but a number of public or a number of posts that have been submitted to the publication have these associated little notes or have received some comments. Uh, I encourage you to check these out because at least one of these posts, this is a private note from the startup, which is a uh, relatively popular medium publication. And this person has asked to to uh, publish this publication or publish this this post on their publication as well. So this is good exposure for you. Gets your work out in front of other people. Uh, I encourage you to go check out whether any of your posts have been uh, comment commented on in this way. And if so, I really encourage you to take advantage of it. So it's definitely good exposure for you. All right. Uh, Remember that the assignment for Modules 3 and 4, or Assignment 3, is uh, coming up next week on March 3rd, and is about similarity and ranking. Uh, that's it for the assignments. The next thing we'll talk about is the semester project. Recall that last week I returned all the feedback on the project proposal. You have an opportunity to revise any comments uh, that I've given you, especially in light of the data collection report that's due today. Uh, feel free to address my comments and submit to the proposal revisions here. I think a number of the teams have already done so, but also a number of teams have not done so yet. So this is just an opportunity for free points for you. Uh, I encourage you to go and take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, as I mentioned, the data collection report is due today. Uh, be sure and get that in. Uh, I know a few of you have run into issues with the data that you've proposed collecting, either the data is too big or it's messy, these kinds of things. Uh, remember, as I have mentioned in these slides, uh, this is you know standard fare for this kind of project. It ends up being harder than you thought, uh, or more complicated or more sophisticated. You are welcome to filter or reduce the amount of data that you need to process in order to get something tractable. Uh, we've talked a lot, and the book has a lot of, op of options and, and uh, discussion about how to make things um, more scalable, given that we're generally working with web scale data. I encourage you to take advantage of that. Uh, but in, unless there are extremely dire circumstances, I'm not going to okay any like complete change of pace or um, 180 kind of, uh, of changes to your project at this stage. Whatever you have, based on all the proposals that I've read, uh, you have, I think, good opportunities to make something work. If you have to do a lot of filtering in order to make something interesting or make something tractable, that's fine, as long as the insights that you are extracting 
are still of interest. They still try and answer your question, even if in a more narrow capacity. And you're not just pulling out um, obvious insights from the data like counts. All right, that's it for the assignments. Uh, the module four learning objectives that we'll go over today are they're threefold. One is a continuation actually of last week. Uh, I want you to be able to expl explain how manipulating band size uh, or some of the parameters in locality sensitive hashing allows us to uh, impact or, or basically tune the false positive rate for LSH. Next one is to define the connection between latent factors and dimensionality reduction. So since this module is, is mostly about dimensionality reduction, I want to give you some intuition for what that could mean. And then lastly is to describe at least two methods for doing dimensionality reduction, a couple of which we've already seen, but then I'll introduce a new one around singular value decomposition. As I mentioned last week, there is a discussion forum. I've gone ahead and, and merged the Module 3 and Module 4 discussions into one discussion forum uh, to make it more clear about where the any questions you may have about uh, Assignment 3 go, you can post them here. All right, that's it for logistics for this week. Uh, for next week coming up, the reading for next week is Chapter 7, specifically Sections 7.1 through 7.4, where we'll start talking about clustering and really about how to make use of all of the uh, techniques and data structures that we've talked about so far uh, to extract interesting or, or valuable insights from our data. Uh, remember that the collection report is due today. Next week also is Assignment 3's uh, primary deadline, and I'll be providing or, or uh, releasing grades for Assignments 1 and 2 uh, over the coming week as I get through them. If you have any questions about anything that I've discussed, remember there's a project idea or there's a project forum uh, where you can post those. There is a forum for Modules 1, Modules 2, and Module 3 and 4, where you can post any questions about any of the assignments uh, that we've done so far. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me directly.